great music in this game, Mystery Stories. It has a nice cheesy feel to it that complements it well. And the photos look like they come from a stock photo library, which also just kind of adds to the charm of the game. After a kidnapping on an ancient Caribbean island, it is up to you to piece together the clues and unravel the mysteries of the Mayan curse. The journey soon takes you to Berlin. There's over 180 plus exciting puzzles and mini games, 40 different locations, and lots of searching. Lots of searching. I like games like this. They're kind of fun. You search pictures for objects, it gives you clues, and there's 10 different search modes. My favorite of which is the one where it plays the sound an object makes, and then you have to find that object in the cluttered mess of whatever location you're at. Typically the top screen will have a timer and show you what you're looking for. The bottom screen that you interact with on the Nintendo DS is the jumbled mess which contains pictures hidden within pictures. Fish on the side of walls fans in barrels, stuff like that. I reviewed a game earlier in the year called Kate West, The Vanishing Files. This is very similar. If you're in the market for an action-packed first-person shooter, uh, Mystery Stories is probably not the game you're looking for, but if you like puzzle games and these picture-solving games, then Mystery Stories is definitely one to check out. What was a fish doing on the side of the bed? That's unsanitary. These people really need to learn to clean their room. Why is there a shoe beneath the golf clubs? Why is there a bra hanging from the propeller on the airplane? Come to think of it, why is there a bra hanging from the propeller? That, that, you know what, what was this chick doing the night before? There's, there's like half-drank bottles of booze laying around, underwear hanging from things, secret Mayan masks. Hey, if this doesn't make you want to play this game, I don't know what will. Nah, seriously, like any game like this, it takes a little while to figure out the art design. Because frequently they'll be alluding to something like a pencil sharpener and you have no idea what the hell kind of pencil sharpener the, the designers are thinking of. Like I think of the old school silver kind where you use a crank. They're going with more of a European automatic pencil sharpener, so it's stuff like that. Is that another half drank glass of booze? That's a floater. The more you scan a picture for an object, the more familiar you become with the picture so that later in that puzzle you can say, oh, I, I did see a soccer ball over there by the uh, Egyptian mummy. Of course. Take your lovely fingers off that, you vile temptress. But professor, I'm looking for a phonograph under a shipwreck. Well, you will only find it if you can locate the panties next to the thing that, uh, you know, adjusts the speed of the boat. It, it's next to the frog, which is sitting on an accordion. Beneath a newspaper, six skeletons, and a, uh, earring. It's the cat! That's the sound a cat makes. Select the cat. No, wait, turtle! Go for the turtle! Select the turtle! Hat! That's a hat! What does a hat sound like? Oh, I know that sound. That's a parakeet. A drunk one. That sounds like time splitters. What's cool about this game is the variety of different searches uh, or search styles. There's the standard find a pencil. Then there's the type where it gives you clues about like a pencil, like it writes. Then you have to actually think and find the pencil. You're always being timed. There's the one that plays the sound effects of the object you're looking for. The game mixes it up nicely. It doesn't get boring, and the storyline, it's fun. They don't need to have a storyline in a game like this, but they do. So, it's a nice feature. I'm obviously having way too much fun with this game, and so too can you. Mystery stories for the Nintendo DS.